Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So many of you know, I've placed an order for a Tesla online. So today, what I wanna show you is behind the scene, uh, what happens after you place your order. So, uh, you know, I purchased a Tesla for a certain price. We're going to be looking at and seeing together if the original price that I had paid for, if that's actually going to be the final price, right? If there's any hidden charges, if there's any surprises, the taxes, the fees, everything. I'm going to be showing you my entire screen we're gonna be jumping on my computer. I'm gonna be showing you my entire screen and showing exactly what all those expenses are and hopefully no surprises and no extra expenses. So we're gonna be going over the entire finance for the Tesla. So uh, if you're looking to purchase a Tesla maybe in the future, this will be very helpful for you. Or if you're just curious to see, you know, what the price is, how much it costs, maybe if you wanna purchase one in the future, you know, make sure to stay till the end because I'm going to be documenting the entire process. So now let's jump on my computer and let's look at the pricing and the expenses together. All right guys, so I just logged into my Tesla account. It says Bilal Tesla, it's pretty cool. All right, and now let's go ahead and look at the financing option. Okay, so the, the, in this finance option, you have a loan. So uh, they give you two options. Either you can do it through Tesla or you can do self-arranged financing. So uh, let me explain what these two are. So Tesla will do the financing for you, right? Um, that way, you know, uh, you give them the responsibility, uh, you pay them, uh, they do all, you know, all the payments plan the the term everything they do it for you um, and so the second option over here is self arranged financing so that option is when you do it through another party uh, some people call it third party you know just to simply uh, simply all that means is just you do it through a bank so you go to a bank yourself and you get a loan from them to be able to buy this Tesla so they call that third party I don't know why you know they use complicated terms like that but it just means you get it through a different bank Right, so you go to the bank, they check your credit, you know, they check your history, they check if you're able to get it right. So instead of Tesla doing it, you know, for you, the bank, you do it directly with the bank. So when you do it through a Tesla, obviously, you know, you're paying a bit more, it's because they're doing all the financing for you, you know, they're checking the credit check, and so it's costing them, you know, time, and then they're just providing you a service. Now, if you want to save a bit more money, you can do it directly through the bank yourself. That way you're dealing with the bank and they don't, the bank doesn't have to pay commission or you know an extra percentage to Tesla. So it might be cheaper for you to go through the bank. So they give you both options. So to, to keep things simple, we're just going to go ahead and choose the option with Tesla. I'm going to keep it like this. Down payment again, you know, they've asked for a down payment. We're going to keep it zero to keep things simple. So, oh wow, so uh, when you do a finance, they give you uh, actually a lot of different options. So if you chose 96 months, which I think is eight years, 96 months, it's eight years. So if you, if you wanted to have paid this car down in eight years, it would only cost you eight, $684.01. If you do 72 months or you do 60 months, 48 months. Oh, so, so last time when we were checking the lease option, right? Uh, for 48 months that was the maximum option in the finance option when you compare it for the same term uh, and as your down payment it's actually more expensive than a lease a lease was uh, less it cost you less it was a thousand dollars I believe um, but yeah this is almost thirteen hundred dollars so it's much more expensive than a lease and uh, the reason behind it, that is because Tesla makes more money when you lease a car uh, when you finance it, they make less less money. So that's why the price is higher because they're they obviously want to make profit. So that's why you have to pay more. The estimated so it gives you uh, at the end it gives you the total fifty four thousand eight hundred eighty dollars. Gives you the monthly payment. The amount due is zero dollars, so you don't have to pay anything. Let's look at the taxes, fees, and payments. All right, so we've seen this already. We know this number very familiar now. Okay. We've seen the additional charges. Oh, this sales tax again, it comes out to $8,235.05. A lot of money, $63,000. Wow. So the amount finance is this much, the estimated monthly payments term 48 months. Something that I noticed here is that you cannot adjust this. Depending on the term, normally when you change the term, the percentage is supposed to go when you increase the term for example you know you increase it to to like you know 72 months this is supposed to go lower uh, and you know they had said to me that you know the option i was using with them when i was at the office when i went to the tesla office they were telling me if you chose it for this many term like it would be you know much cheaper but if you're over here it doesn't show you that it's cheaper it just shows that it's fixed 
which I am not very happy with. Payment received, okay, yeah, so that was my deposit, and over here, uh, there's only one incentive. I, I'm, like, it shows here twice, but it's a, it just once. Uh, you know, it's a $5,000 rebate for having an electric vehicle. So, uh, let me just show it over here, if you go to 96 months, right? It still says 3.5, if you go to 72, still 3.15, if you go to 60, 3.15 it doesn't change which does not make sense this is supposed to be changing depending on the term that's how it works in all dealerships maybe for now because um, you know the car is only coming in april it might change again um you know in the future but um yeah this is just not cool yeah uh, this is a big deal um this is a really big deal because you know like the higher interest percentage there is right there the more you pay right and obviously if you want to save money you want that to be as low as possible right like maybe zero percent that would be the best it's just very high um and i hope that you know in the future we will we'll be able to adjust this and we can make it as low as possible because who wants to pay extra money and who has extra money to pay you know <laughs> we want to pay the lowest as possible um you know, for a good product. I'm willing to pay for a product, but not, you know, at a reasonable price, and I want this to be lower. Okay, so I'm actually choosing the option of cash, and I'll explain to you why. The car is not due right now at delivery, right? I sound like if I pay now, I'm going to be getting the car tomorrow. The car is due in April, so that's still five months left. So what Tesla does is they actually check your credit twice. They check it now, and then they check it at the time of delivery. And uh, every time, you know, people check your credit, it brings it lower because I don't want my credit score to go lower, right? For no reason, because I'm not getting the car. So I'm gonna choose the cash option now. And in the future, when at the time of delivery, I'm able to actually change it. So you can do that either by calling, you know, one of the reps at the, at the dealership and letting them know that you've changed the payment. Instead of doing a cash, you want to do a finance loan or you want to do a lease. And, you know, they can adjust that for you. You can send them an email. It's very easy to do. Um, so that's why, you know, my reasoning right now is uh, I want to do it cash. So, you know, it doesn't hurt my score. It stays uh, healthy and then at the end if I do want to choose it or if I ha have the cash I want to do it cash I can keep it like that but that's the reason behind it you know this is a really helpful tool um, so you guys are looking to purchase a Tesla make sure you think about this because it will help you so I you know got this info by talking to the Tesla reps over and over and over again so I got a lot of different info but out of all the reps that I, uh, I spoke to this was the one of the most helpful uh, tips that I got so I wanted to share that with you guys so it helped you too. Alright, so I'm going to be using the cash option and let's see what happens next. Okay, it says next steps, completed task, overview. Alright, so these are the steps that I've already done. Next steps, I, I placed my order and I've prepared for delivery. Now they are, so I'm over here in the payment step. Alright, so let's go and see what they ask. Okay, so I need to upload a proof of insurance. Right? I can have like five companies. And you know, I can tell them, hey, I'm getting a car, it's coming in five months, give me your best rate. And then I can compare all the five companies and choose the best one. So I really like how Tesla is actually helping you, uh, helping themselves, you know, make sure that the uh, process of actually getting a car is uh, done simply, step by step, slowly, slowly. So, you know, first they ask for a deposit, then like first you chose the car, then they ask for a deposit, then now. Uh, they asked for the location and then they asked you which type of payment you want. They didn't ask me to commit, but they just chose, I just chose an option. And now they're asking me for, you know, smaller steps, slowly, slowly moving me along the journey to actually get the car. So it says here, next steps, we are drafting up your contract and we'll contact you when you can make your final payment. Who must be pre present at delivery? All persons listed on the registration must be present to sign at delivery. If you are trading in a vehicle, all registered owners must be present. So I don't have a trade-in vehicle, so I will be the only person there. What do I need to bring with me to deliver it? Your driver license, okay, for all registrants, copy of your current auto insurance uh, or proof of Tesla policy if required, final payment if you are picking up your vehicle in a Tesla sales license date, title of your trade-in vehicle. So four things, your license, copy of your insurance, make sure that you have made the payment either a lease a loan or you've paid for in cash 
And if you have a trade in, which we don't, make sure it's there. They're giving me options here to, to buy a wall mount. I'll wake up, wake up to a full charge every morning. So you can purchase that here and buy some clothing and you can buy some car coverage. So these are extra products you can purchase. Um, for a charger at home, uh, the government gives you another incentive where I live. So if I purchase it, it's $600. I get an, a rebate. So it won't cost me any money. Uh, so basically it's free. Uh, the t-shirt, I have to pay for that in the car cover. So I'm not going to get it. Don't need it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically it. So now the next step is they're asking me for a proof of insurance. So the next step is I'm going to be calling the companies, asking for the best rate. I'll put it in here and then I'll make another video to show you what happens after I've submitted the proof of insurance. And we'll move along and we'll make another video for you. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy the process. I hope you like, you know, going through the finances. And if you guys want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like this video, make, make sure to share with other friends who are looking, you know, for more uh, finance about the Tesla and how much it costs. And guys, if you want more videos, uh, I create a video every single week about, um, you know, about finance, about cars, about saving money, about investments. So if you want this free knowledge, make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.